It won't. And it's recording. <laughs> I'm leaving that in. Let me turn. Hello, 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 and welcome back to Jen Hannigan's. She's Jen. I'm Hannah. Two besties for the resty, and this is our channel where we talk uh, all the things and about everything. We want. Um, we ah, quick synapses. Is that the right word? I don't know. I think it I is. Have words. It's way too late. Um, we started this channel about four years ago. We started WW, 80 pounds weight lost, 150 ish pounds weight lost. I was over 500 pounds. Don't ask me how much over. I don't know. I didn't get on the scale. Anyway, we did WW for years. Um, and then we were using healthy mostly, but we recently decided not decided. <laughs> we didn't decide. She found food junkies podcast. Mm-hmm. And we figured out that we were food addicts. Yes. And that it was a real thing. So we cut out sugar and we're in the process of cover- cutting out other things. And this is kind of an update of what have we cut out? What have we noticed? What are we still wondering what place it has? Um, I'll tell you, it's a lot of uh, God centered and has to be God driven. Ignore yeah. the mess back here. We've been shopping. I tried to get a painting to stay. You saw all that anyway. So how many days sugar free? 51. Is it 51? 50, 50, 50, 50 days sugar free. Um, what are you classifying as sugar? Uh, well it's for me, it's sweets. It's sweets free, like no sweets, no desserts. And like a low added sugar, like yeah. less than like two grams. So it's kind of developed for me. I originally wasn't sure if I was going to count pancakes and I do. That is definitely a sweet. Um, it is for me too. But yeah, no sweets, no, no cookies, no cakes, no chocolate. Um, so 50 days of that. What did you know? What have you noticed? Um, I've noticed that there has been no real like overeating or binging. Yeah. Like I'm definitely um, a, a lot more in control over uh, my food choices and kind of over my mind as I'm yeah. choosing, as I'm eating. Um, I can be really hungry after church and I used to just like go home and just like eat whatever I could find. And so now I can kind of like breathe through that and just like, okay, let me plan something here. And so that's been huge. Like really, yeah. really, really huge. Sugar it's, was fogging my brain a hundred percent. I had no idea. And we I, weren't even big sugar no. eaters. Like let's put that out there. Like we weren't, Yeah. but we had enough carbohydrates in our body. We've had enough sugar that it definitely, um, could have been less. And obviously it's way better now. I did not realize how much sugar effect was affecting my brain, mm-hmm. like my thinking processes. Yeah. And it's not just sugar. Uh, it was a lot of, because we've been on WW for four years. Did I mention yeah. that? <laughs> um, we did a lot of zero sugar yeah. things. Oh yeah. Like sweeteners. Um, yeah. Sweeteners and like Pepsi. So I do a zero sugar, brown sugar, cinnamon syrup. In my coffee, but that's once a day and that's limited. That's m- mostly the only sweetener I do. I think you do a little Splenda in, in tea, maybe. Yeah, if I'm making like iced tea, but I hardly yeah. ever make that, but every now and then. And then just um, sugar free creamer is the only thing. So we were doing sugar free everything for yeah. a while there. We were doing oh, like sugar free pudding and sugar free protein shakes and sugar free, mm-hmm. like sugar free, sugar free, sugar free. Everything. Remember we made all those cakes that were sugar free. Yep. The and so sugar for us, cakes, like, the sugar for you could do cakes. sugar free if that's your thing. But for us, it was just causing us to want sweets and to eat more and more. And so you eat a sugar free cake and it's got about as many calories as mm-hmm. another cake. So you and know, flour and oil and all that stuff. You know us. We, we love the Food Junkies podcast. Um, but there is science behind there are certain sweeteners that still spike your blood sugar just mm-hmm. like sugar does. Yeah. So Look some of those zero sugar things are still having the same effect that sugar would have on you. Yeah. And there is this whole thing where your body thinks it's getting something, but then it the payoff isn't there. And so then it's searching for that. So yeah. a lot of those zero sugar things 
will do that to you. Your body thinks it's getting a certain amount of calories. It's not really getting that. So then it's looking for those calories. Yeah. Um, so that's been a huge change. Um, so that's a, a, a hard line in the sand. Those yeah. things are, are done. I'm not going back to them. I don't want to. I am able to look at a cookie, acknowledge that it's probably good, and remind myself that it's probably not as good as I think it is, and I'm okay without it. It helps if you start to look at those things as if they were cigarettes. Yeah. Like for me, I used to love cigarettes. So now I look at a cigarette and I smell a cigarette. I'm like, oh my gosh, it's like, no, like how could I ever do that? And so for me, it's kind of the same thing. I, I had to look at yeah. it as something that was not good to my body and didn't treat my body well. And it never did. I never felt great after eating a cookie. I never felt great after eating, you know, X, Y, Z, whatever. But it yeah. helps if you look at it that way. Like, like if you look at it as a drug that you should be letting go of. And for me, it's very much a conviction, mm-hmm. um, which is, we believe in glorifying God through do. our bodies. We believe that we believe that everything that we are should glorify God somehow. So if we're taking in things and we have destructive habits with the food that we eat and those foods are hurting our body, then there's nothing glorifying to the Lord in that. So that's, that's and, our belief. And for me, the reason it's a, a conviction and, and very strong conviction in, in my heart now is I was running to sugar for the emotional support, sugar for the joy, sugar for when I shouldn't have been. It it did not do anything to deserve that place in my life. So it no longer has that place in my life. And that has been completely mind blowing, changing so many things. In addition to sugar, we are removing other things. Yes. We started right off the bat with sugar, removing other. I know this sounds like it's a lot. And it's not something that's happened overnight Mm -mm. for us. This is something that we've come to over a long period of time. And it was really overwhelming in our minds. But as we've been doing this, it's getting so much easier. So like with us saying that we're getting rid of sugar, like it's not a big deal anymore. Like it really really isn't. isn't. And so it's way easier. And so as we're like adding to those things that are not treating our body well, not making us feel good. Um, it's, it's just, it's okay. Like it's, it's layers. And if you're not ready for that, you're not ready for that. We've been doing this for four years. So it took us four years to get to this place and and that's okay. And here's the thing, like the list of foods that we're not eating may start to sound overwhelming, but we didn't remove them all at once. Yes, exactly. We started with. And it's personal to us. Yeah. And it's going to be. It's different for me than it is for Hannah. It's going to be different for you. And it really is different. So the next thing we started looking at, was. We removed any foods that we couldn't control ourselves with. And that's different from both of us. Mm -hmm. I had to get rid of bread and butter Mm -hmm. because the combination of those two is not good for me. I will eat an entire loaf of sourdough bread. Um, And so that led to getting rid of flour. That is not as hard a line. It is not a strong conviction yet. I'm still studying to try and figure out why exactly should I get rid of flour. Sugar is very obvious. Yes. There is, I've known all my life, the things that sugar can do to you. Um, But flour is a little bit different. So with flour, I started this month getting rid of flour. And for me, that is no bread. Um, Includes no biscuits, which may be something that has a certain place, but not right now. Um, No pasta, for sure. I am having tortillas. Tortillas are allowed. Um, there are other things that I'm still figuring out. Yeah. Pizza is one that we're still figuring out. Yeah. And I'm, I'm, me personally, I'm trying to figure out exactly what that looks like as far as bread goes. Because I'm okay with some kinds of bread. Like I can do an English muffin in the morning, but I like I'm, I'm like Hannah. I can't do sourdough bread and butter. So I think it's just going to depend on what you know where we kind of fall into those things. I know for me, I've got to let go of um, fries and. Mm potato chips like those are issues for me they they make me feel awful for one and they're way too easy to just overeat on and so that's and that's something I've known for a really long time like I mean way back so those things are going to go I've made the definitive decision after much 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 thought Mm -hmm. um and saying the goodbye and mourning that thing um that's that has to go that's not going to be a part of my diet anymore and there's so many beautiful foods in this world you really are. So and many beautiful foods. When you get rid of some of them, the other stuff starts tasting different. Yeah. It's amazing. It's amazing the things I eat now that I wouldn't have ate two months ago because I didn't like the taste of them two months ago, but now they are, they taste amazing. It is like a cigarette because when I, I, I smoked socially in college and more than I should have, um, 
more than I want my parents to know. Yeah. <laughs> that they now know now. But if when you smoke and you eat, the food tastes different. And when you stop smoking, after a couple of days of not smoking, all of a sudden the food tastes completely changed. And that's kind of what it was when once sugar was out of my system. All the food tasted different and yeah. tasted so much better. I get so much more pleasure. From I've it. even gone down a lot in Splenda that I would use. Like yeah. I'm not using any Splenda in my coffee anymore. It's just the creamer now, which before I used to have to have both. Mm -hmm. And then also like in the sweet tea, I noticed I was able to either have these huge glasses of sweet tea, of unsweet tea mm -hmm. at the Mexican restaurant. And I used two packets and even that was too sweet. And I would yeah. use like four in those. It's So I've noticed that things do taste a lot sweeter. Fruit tastes way better. Yeah. So it is a process, yes. uh, approach it like a process. I am, I have no idea what that list of foods that I say goodbye to is going to end up being. Yeah. I know there's going to be more added to it. I am heavily relying on God to show me what it is. Yeah. And I'm listening to the experts as to why some things may need to go. Yeah. Um, I was it's good to just start educating yeah. yourself. There's nothing wrong with a little education. And here's the thing. You'll, there will be people that look at you like you're crazy. There will be people We've that say, are that you happen. never going to eat this again? Already had that happen. There there will be people that fully understand because they have something medical or what are convictions in their own life. Um, what I realized and what's funny to me is this is not, it, it may seem sudden and it may seem like a lot that we're saying we're sugar free for 50 days and we're taking other foods out and it may seem crazy to you. Um, and I get that. I totally understand how it can seem crazy to say no more this, no more that. But here's the thing. Years ago in four years of my life, I have said, I'm addicted to food like people are alcohol, but you can't just stop eating. I have said, um, what are some of the other things I, I listed all? I have said that, um, some, okay. Controversial essential oils. Some people swear by them. Some by, people think they're completely insane. And some people are like, oh, I don't know. I've been, eh, I don't know. Because essential oils that come from a plant, there are medicinal purposes. I believe that God made plants and animals for our nourishment. Mm -hmm. Essential oils have not worked for me personally because maybe they were diluted or something. I don't know. But I've looked at some of those people like they're crazy. The thing is, maybe they're not. Mm -hmm. But I have said, if food is the cause of problems, why can't we use food to cure it? We had a video that we thought about a long time, uh, researching it and talking about pharmacology, using a farm to treat the medical stuff. We never... Why did we never research that? We would have found food junkies two years ago. I didn't feel like researching. Maybe I said I was going to do all that research. Yeah. I never did. We and weren't ready. We no, weren't ready. we weren't. But, like, it's been years of me saying these things and thinking I was crazy. And then, all of a sudden, I open and available to learn and be willing to learn because we lost weight on WW. But it wasn't about weight loss, we wanted to get healthy and we reached a point where we weren't losing any more weight and our health wasn't progressing mm -hmm. and it should have been. And it's like, okay, what else is going on here? So we start listening and then there are professionals that saying food addiction is real. You should use food to treat yourself. And I'm like, huh? So that to me is confirmation that God is leading me on the path that I need to go. So Sorry that got a little preachy. I'm very passionate about this right now. I'm also reading Wheat Belly, and I'm absolutely terrified and frightened of the things that have been sold to us as health foods. I'm yeah. just going to leave it right there. I'll do a review on that book later once I'm done reading it. But you have anything else to add? I don't. So we don't know what we're not. We don't know what in six months is going to be the list of things we're not eating. Right now, we're not eating sweets. We're Don't worry, there's plenty of very, things we're still eating. Yeah, We've got oh. a great menu of food. We're, not, I'm we're going to food. show you how I'm many different food. ways we, we use sweet potatoes now. Yeah, It's no, amazing. Yeah. Um, 
but it's a process and we are going through that and we are actually really enjoying the process. Yes. It's been, it's, it's been awesome. It's not as scary it as I thought it would be. It has not been terrible. It has not been uncomfortable. Mm-hmm. I mean, well, it's been a little uncomfortable, but you come out of that and it just feels good. There's freedom in it. Mm-hmm. And you would not believe that, that there is freedom in saying, I'm not having this item anymore. And there is, there is, especially if so you've ever much. experienced what it really means to be food addicted. If you mm-hmm. really know like how deep that can bring you down and how it messes with your emotions, how it messes with your mind, like all of those things. If you've ever been in that position, you know that it's good to come out of it and, yeah. and that that's not worth it. You don't want to do that. And so it's just been, it's just been good. We, we, we feel free. Food takes, it takes planning to not, to get food that doesn't have added sugar and doesn't have flour. But I got to a point where, and I always said, I can't eat the same thing every day. I eat the same thing we for eat the lunch. Same thing. We eat the same thing naturally. That's just what we do. My lunches are a bag of salad and a lean protein and a couple of eggs, and I am completely satisfied. I think about food less now than I ever have. Anyway, yeah. um, let's wrap this up. Like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the bell notification. And we try, we try, we try, we try our best. to post Monday, Wednesdays, and Fridays. Doesn't always Three happen. days? Hannah, I didn't know that. I know you didn't know that because you don't watch Hannah our videos. Hannah does this. Hannah does all this. I don't. She gets annoyed when I say we should film a video. I'm like, I'm video. not filming. I'm just not. But, <laughs> but I'd love anyway, it. Anyway, just kidding. Um, do all the things. Let us know. Is there something that, is there a food that you have said, I will not go back to that because it does or not treat me well. maybe that you should say, yeah. I will not go back to that. It doesn't and treat me well. if you have any questions about the foods that we're not eating and the reasons behind it, Hey, you're ask. doing this with us. We're we're, yeah. we're just sharing it as we go, and uh, we wanted to be transparent with you guys. And so yeah. hopefully what we're doing can help somebody else and um, just come along with us on the ride. I will tell you that I have lost weight since doing this, but it has not been very much. Uh, I mean, like eight pounds right now since in the 50 days. That's not a lot. That's a lot. Um, but okay. Okay. It's a lot, but it it's way more I than I you. was because I was totally plateaued. But the physical feelings and the health and the mental clarity yeah. is so much more important. Yeah. Anyway. Okay. Bye. <laughs>